We've been part of two big platform trials uh, for COVID-19. Uh, one of them is called the recovery trial uh, and the other one is called the remap cap trial. The recovery trial is the largest randomized clinical trial for COVID-19 coordinated across the world. It's run from the Oxford University and there are over 170 sites participating in this trial across the UK. Patients are recruited into one of five arms of the trial. The first arm is we call the standard of care arm where patients receive the treatment that they receive on the ward. Um, there is a combination of antiretroviral drugs used in HIV uh, called Keletra. The next arm is hydroxychloroquine which is a very popular anti-malarial drug. The next arm is an antibiotic called azithromycin and um, the fifth arm is dexamethasone which is a steroid which is used in various anti-inflammatory uh, conditions. Unlike many other organizations across the country, about 50% of the subjects from the black and ethnic minorities. This has proved the point that this trial, we've heard in the news channels that there is a high proportion of patients from ethnic minorities succumbing to COVID-19. And it's really important that this trial addresses that. And we've been, as an organization, successful in recruiting lots of black and ethnic minority patients into the trial. The specialist ophthalmology research team has proactively upskilled and retrained themselves to be able to take part in ongoing studies and COVID pandemic. Current reduction in clinical activities has allowed the flexibility that has meant that we can make a meaningful contribution to this national high priority studies taking place here in Bradford. Normally, I'd be working with my colleagues in the ophthalmology research team, helping to recruit patients into retinal trials. It feels really good to be helping out in these uncertain times. It's too early to know the results of these trials because we expect the recruitment to be ongoing till the end of the pandemic. But we expect some early results, probably towards the end of May or early June, where we'll know at least some early indications on which of these arms may be effective uh, in preventing our patients with COVID-19 coming to harm. We are very keen that all of our COVID-19 patients in Bradford, including those from ethnic minorities, take part in these studies, not only for uh, their own good, but for the good of the next wave of patients we are likely to see from the infection. Music